just I'm looking out the window like a main oh, character. Oh, that was tough, Get Jacob. Your ass in here. Hey guys, Blazin here. Today, I want to talk about Helldivers 2. I know everyone and their fathers have talked about and covered this game, but I have to cover it too because this game absolutely deserves your attention and time. Oh shit. Drop ship! This game is so much fun. An example of what a live service game should be. It's only $30 on Steam or $40 on PS5, and there is crossplay between the two. Though there is no cross progression, unfortunately. At least as of the making of this video, so I hope Arrowhead is able to implement that at some point. When you first enter the game, you are greeted with a hilarious intro. But freedom doesn't come free. No! Sweet liberty! No! After watching someone's family being brutally murdered, you then play the tutorial, and then you can play the game. If you couldn't tell just from the intro alone, and the tutorial when you do play it at some point, uh, this game has definitely a comedic side to it as you play the game. And that part does not go away, thankfully. You can also name your own ship too after you complete the tutorial. For example, my ship name is Herald of Destruction. Your ship acts as a menu hub for you and three other friends can join and hang out. This is where you upgrade your ship by a ton of tool destructions which include basically a bunch of fucking killstreaks like napalm strikes, airstrikes, and a giant laser beam, two power weapons like a machine gun, which in chances are this is going to be the first one you'll get, and a spear rocket launcher, which is basically a javelin, a flamethrower, and so much more. This is also the place where you customize your own loadout and customize your helldiver, or hell jumper if you're a Halo fan. From there, let's move on to the gameplay. You know, the fact that these guys are saying I'm not a, uh, I'm not a um, fallen democracy is, is what a socialist would do. Now, the gameplay is stellar. It's a third person shooter, and there's quite a bit of depth when it comes to shooting. You can't just point and shoot, because where your center reticle is, that doesn't mean that's where your shots are going to hit. See, there's a swinging reticle along with the center one. The swaying reticle is actually where your shots are going to hit. While we're on the topic of shooting, the first person animations are awesome. Yes, you can go in first person, which you'll want to do to hit specific weak points on enemies. And the reload animations are excellent. They make me kind of hard. The enemies themselves are also pretty varied, which I think is one of the reasons that makes this game fun, because the AI themselves are also fun to shoot at. You can shoot off the bug's legs, their head, and sometimes their ass. The bugs are called Terminids, and they all come in different shapes and sizes. You got the big ones called Bile Titans, you got Crushers, or Chargers, I always forget which one to call them. They're basically your armored rushdown, big ass assholes. Then you got some that kind of glide at you. They're called Hunters, which basically everyone hates them because they have a stun ability. And then there are really baby ones, which are basically one to two hit kills, but you kind of want to get rid of those first because they're the ones that make holes and can kind of call other bugs to come and help them so that they can actually create a problem. The bugs for the most part just try to swarm you with numbers and just try to just kill you that way. They can be quite smart too. If you notice the way they walk, sometimes they'll they'll crab walk and like try to hit you from the sides and really spread out. So those are the Terminids. Next let's talk about the Automatons. I call them Skynet. Yeah. It ain't are, are me! We, are we fighting it against me. Skynet? Yes. And we are the Skynet because we came from the sky. So you know, there, alright, I'm killing this thing. Oh no! Right. Oh, look out! They have turrets. And I mines. think that's a, I think that's a rocket what? turret. I'm not, no, that's a light. That's all a right, light. they're straight up Those fucking mines. Those are the mines. They shoot fucking laser beams and provide different obstacles to the combat. While the bugs just try to bomb rush you and overwhelm you with numbers, the bots have guns so they can shoot back. They have their own bigger units called hulks which come with circular saws and flamethrowers. And while the bugs come from underground, the bots get deployed by dropships, which can also deploy tanks. Staying on the bots, much like the bugs, you can shoot their limbs off, and when it comes to the heavy armored units, you need to shoot their little red eye or on their back on certain units. As for the environments you fight on, well, they're also pretty varied. There are planets that look like jungles, desert, and snow. So many different environments, and the time of day can change too. 
and certain weather conditions can have side effects during gameplay. Yeah, the whole, everything uh, revolving the around the environment like is a whole, you know, is a whole topic to cover. Even something as simple as going through bushes can slow down your movement. There's a bunch of plants that basically slow you down, and on rare occasions, there are holes to fall in. I've only had that happen to me once, so they're pretty, uh, they're quite rare to, to find holes. One last topic I want to talk about is, well, the live service part of the game, which is like S tier, probably S++ tier. It's really good. <laughs> Uh, I know this footage is old, but, you know, as of the making of this video, you know, a bunch of stuff has been added since, uh, well, since this game launched, and after the servers were done getting overloaded. The in-game store is legit microtransactions. Like, micro. Like, you can buy armor sets for $5 or less. And the in-game credits, or like the currency, is called super credits. And what's cool about the super credits is that you can actually find these in the environment. No other live service game does that. On top of already, you know, getting super credits within the battle passes, which are called freedom passes. Very, very fitting. Like I said, I know this footage is old, but as of making this video, there's now like three of them. The first one I recommend everybody going through since I kind of consider the first uh, freedom pass to be the main progression system. And they kind of hold the essentials, so if you have, if you're just getting started, uh, do the first free battle pass since that that one's free for everybody. It has like ten pages, and then the other ones, you know, are just like optional. You know, it's like you can pay ten dollars if you want, but I recommend everybody completing the first one since it probably holds the essentials. And uh, also something similar to Halo Infinite, which well, I'm actually about to say something good about Halo Infinite. <laughs> uh, the, the, the freedom passes don't go away. Like, they're not like other battle passes, which, you know, they're like... You know, they only last for three months and then they're gone kind of thing. Uh, not with this game. No. The, the freedom passes, once they release a new one, it stays. And they're just going to keep being more and more as time, go on, uh, as time goes on. So, there's no FOMO. Hey, 343 and Xbox. Maybe you should be taking fucking notes for Halo 7. Maybe you actually make a good functioning game for once. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. This isn't everything about the game. In fact, if you want to know everything about the game, I recommend checking out Ackman's video on it as he covers everything in much more detail than I did. I just wanted to give you guys a quick, concise version of what this game is about. Also, let me know how my new mic sounds down in the comments. I got a new mic finally. I hope it sounds good. If not, then I fucked up. Alright, I think that's all I have to say about Helldivers 2. Now, uh, go buy it. That's an order, soldier! Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe only if you enjoyed the content on this channel, and let me know your thoughts on Helldivers 2 in the comments below. And until next time, peace. Become part of an elite peacekeeping force! See exotic new life forms. and spread managed democracy throughout the galaxy. Become a hero. Become a legend. Become a Helldiver. Oh my god, what the fuck?